Has one person even tried to sort this treatment? Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Oni. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you, Professor. I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in, late, to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Revelio. By all accounts, Hogwarts will be lost without you. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion.
Revelio. All I have at home are brothers. I have to be sharing a room with girls. Oh no, Sir Fitzroy, my toad. He's left me. <laughs> It's only her toad, there he silly. Is. <clears throat> Perhaps some explanation is in order. It was uh, only a toad. Nothing. In the if it had been Lucy. my toad, it didn't do. One at a time. It was please. only her toad, Professor. You tell tale. It was not. Levioso. <sighs> oh, Fitzroy, you naughty boy. See, I told you. Now, in future, perhaps we can spend our time on more meaningful activities than causing a commotion. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it please. seems. Although, I will say... How can one not... And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers. The poachers are the enemy and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today, that you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there.
We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. It's like a place right out of a storybook. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little... Strange, we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Incendio.
Lumos. Lumos. I wonder if the pillars move at all. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Lumos. Lumos. Akio. Perhaps it has to do with the light and the darkness. Akio. with the light in the darkness. Akio. Lumos. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness.
here. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Revelio. Accio. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now, I'm afraid I must leave you. Revelio, at least, for a time. You're not coming in with us. Lumos. Lumos. If the Snidgets are here. Lumos. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher Lumos. camps. Bombarder! Lumos! Lumos. Lumos. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Lumos. Incendio. I'll 
I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? Levioso! Lumos. Lumos. We got it, Leviosa. Rebellion. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Rebellion. Wingardio Leviosa. Leviosa. Rebellion. The plates on the floor have symbols on them.
Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Places. Revelio. 